Hello everyone, welcome back to College Review Series by Akash. In today's video, we are going to talk about National Institute of Technology, Surat or SVNIT Surat. So we are going to explore everything about this NIT, its campus, courses, admission process, placements opportunities, cut off and a lot more. And if you want to know what is students opinion about this NIT, then do watch this video till the end. Sardar Vallabhbhai National Institute of Technology or SVNIT is a public technical university established by the Parliament of India in the year 1961. The institute is ranked 65th by the NIRF 2023 in the engineering category. SVNIT is located in the city's prime area, which is locally known as Ichanath in the city of Surat, Gujarat. It has a lush green campus which is spread over an area of 250 acres. The NIT has a decent infrastructure with numerous buildings designated for classrooms catering to various courses. The campus boasts well-equipped libraries, modern classrooms, advanced laboratories, central computer center, canteen, well-maintained sports fields, cutting-edge research facilities and medical facilities. Talking about the courses now, SVNIT offers a wide range of undergraduate and postgraduate courses offering 1325 seats to its BTEC candidates. The students come here to pursue courses such as Artificial Intelligence, Chemical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering, and Mechanical Engineering. Now, the next important thing that comes to the mind is how to get in there. Eligibility and Admission Process See, the admission process and the eligibility criteria at all the NITs is same. So the candidates seeking admission in one of the BTEC courses need to qualify Joint Entrance Exam JEE Main and pass Class 12 Board Examination with Science Stream. The students who belong to general category need to secure minimum 75% of marks, whereas for students who belong to SC, ST or PWD category need to secure minimum 65% marks in their boards. Further, the candidates must register for JOSA counselling based on the mark scored in their JEE main. Then the selected candidates will have to get their documents verified and pay the required fees. Foreign students get accepted through DASA, that is Direct Admission of Students Abroad and ICCR schemes. Coming on to fee structure now. The tuition fee per semester for the BTEC program is going to be 62,500, which is again same at all the NITs. And the total fee for these four years, including admission charges, the hostel fee, and other miscellaneous charges, is going to be 611,500. So here is the consolidated revised fee structure for the year 2023-24. As per the government norms, there are some fee waivers given to the students. Like 100% tuition fee waivers to the SC, ST and PWD students. Full remission of the tuition fee for the students whose family income is less than 1 lakh rupee per annum. And two-thirds of the remission of tuition fee for the students whose family income is between 1 lakh to 5 lakh per annum. And with this, SVNIT offers some scholarship schemes to its meritorious and economically weaker section students. Most of the scholarships at SVNIT cover your entire tuition fee, plus provide you additional grants for books and computer accessories. In some cases, your hostel fee is also taken care of and you may get stipend also. To get complete information on scholarships like the eligibility criteria, the procedure for application and the benefits of specific scholarships, do visit the link given in the description. Here is everyone's favorite section now that is SVNIT placements. NIT Surat is well known for its organized and proactive placement process and opportunities that it provides to its students. It is quite evident from past year's growth in terms of placement that shows an improving trend in the BTEC courses. So let's have a look at the placements 2022-23 statistics. 
As per the reports, a total of 935 students were placed in reputed companies till June 2023. Here are branch-wise lowest average and highest salary packages in the various domains. The highest package offered in the Computer Science and Engineering and Electronics and Communication branch stood at 44 lakh per annum. For electrical branch, it stood 28.54 LPA, civil engineering 19.3 lakh per annum, and the highest package offered in mechanical and chemical engineering was 18.45 lakh per annum. So the overall placement percentage stood at 85%. The highest package stood at 44 lakh per annum, and average package stood at 18.26 lakh per annum. Many top brands such as Honda, Hero, MG Motors, Suzuki Motors, Future First, Vedanta, Aditya Birla, along with many others visited the campus for recruitment. Now it's time for SVNIT cutoff. See, as we all know that seats at all the NITs are reserved, 50% for home state candidates and remaining 50% for other state candidates. So we are talking about SVNIT, which comes in top 15 NITs. That means you'll have to work really hard and diligently to get in here. Hard enough so you can acquire a rank according to cutoff in your JEE main. Here is a branch-wise cutoff for both home state and other state candidates after sixth round of JOSA counseling. Thereafter, there is another round which is conducted by CSAC for chemical engineering. As you can see, the opening and closing ranks were 30,114 and 46,602. Therefore, try to secure a rank around 46,000 to get admission in this branch for home state candidates and 38,000 should be your target for other state candidates. Now, talking about computer science engineering, if you notice, you will know that the rank cutoff in the CAC branch is more or less the same for home state and other state candidates. Hence, to get admission in this branch, you need to secure a rank at least close to 7,000. Now, let's talk about electrical engineering. The rank after the sixth round started at 11,515 and closed at 29,656 for home states. So, in order to get in this branch, you'll have to manage to secure a rank around 29,000. And if you are in other state candidates, then you can get admission by acquiring approximate rank as 20,000 at least. For electrical and communication engineering branch, see the opening rank was 8,223 and closing stood at 19,756, which shows 19,000 rank requirement for home state candidates. And for other state candidates, rank closed at 15,093. Hence, with 15,000 also, you can get admission here in this branch easily. Likewise, you can have a look at the rank requirement for all other branches. For category-wise cutoff, that is for SC, ST or EWS or girl candidates, visit the link given in the description. Now let's explore FEST at SVNIT. NIT Surat organizes a plethora of competitions and contests, both academic and non-academic. These competitions range from technical symposium to hackathons to sports tournaments and debate competitions. These students organized festivals include Spursh, Quest by ACM, Ignis, which is a sports festival, Grand Robo Prix GRP, Marker Space by Drishti, and Joy Fest. Further, there are department-wise events also conducted such as Siphon, which is organized by Chemical Engineering Society, Atish, organized by Electrical Engineering Society, and Prakriti, organized by the Sciences Department. Now, let's find out what do the students at SVNIT have to say about the Institute. Students review. The cleanliness and hygiene department here deserves a 5-star rating. The NIT has a wonderful infrastructure, but the classrooms lack ACs. You can get Wi-Fi, laundry and mess facility in the hostel itself, along with the night mess. SVNIT follows strict hostel timings, which is from 7.30 am to 10.30 pm. You will find strictness here with regards to academic, so don't miss academics at any cost. Mess food and hostel facilities are really appreciable and to maintain 75% attendance is mandatory here as well. So, 
overall, Sardar Vallabhbhai National Institute of Technology is characterized by a rich and diverse range of opportunities that enable students to grow academically, socially and personally. So whether it is about challenging competitions, engaging activities, vibrant celebrations, fest, clubs, student council elections, academic or non-academic exposure, the institute has something for everyone. So this was all I had for this video. Now over to you. Do let me know what you think about NIT Surat. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you do not miss out on any updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.